So we've gone through all we did in the last video, just to get your calorie burnt for the day. But this is absolutely crucial because maintaining a calorie surplus is going to be the single most important factor when it comes to bulking. As long as you're eating more than you're burning, then you will get bigger over time. So just why is a calorie surplus so important? Well, the first and most obvious reason is that building muscle requires energy. You're asking your body to construct new tissue from the protein in your diet, and that means you're going to need to eat more to provide that energy. The other reason is you're trying to prevent the breakdown of muscle. When you're low on energy and your body is forced to burn fat, it goes into a catabolic state. First, your body notices your stomach is empty. This causes a release of ghrelin, the hunger hormone. That in turn triggers the release of cortisol, the stress hormone, which is designed to encourage your brain to go and seek out food. Your body is now in a catabolic state where it will burn fat and use it for fuel. But that cortisol also triggers the release of something else, myostatin. Myostatin is one of the single biggest enemies of bodybuilders because it tells the body to break down muscle. Muscle is very energy demanding and not very energy efficient. As we've seen, simply having muscle increases your BMR. Thus, if you're starving and your body is low on the sugars and ATP it needs to run, it's going to want to break down muscle and certainly not prioritize it for building. What's more, this will release some additional energy that your body can use. So, being in a calorie deficit puts you in an anxious, skinny, lean and efficient mode. Conversely though, when you eat large amounts of calories, it lets your muscles swell up because you're creating the right environment. Your body will store some of that energy as glycogen you know, right in the muscle cells and make them look even bigger. And when you provide the correct stimulus for growth, your system will respond by building. This is also why rest is so important and why you need to train without exhausting yourself. The goal of training is not to burn calories, just to provide stimulus for growth. You're aiming to get pumped in the gym and then spend the rest of the time eating and resting. I call this living like a lion. So the next question is just how many calories you actually need in order to bulk. Obviously, this is dependent on the AMR, as we've just worked out. But how many more calories than that should you aim for? The answer again varies and is dependent on various factors, such as whether you're more interested in a lean bulk, meaning that you add muscle with very little body fat, or a dirty bulk, meaning that you add both muscle and fat. A very clean bulk is achievable with something like 150 to 200 calories a day. A slightly clean bulk is around two to 300, and if you want a dirty bulk, you could go up to 400 to 450. Higher than that though, and you're starting to get into fat territory. You're gonna place a bit of strain on your body and potentially cause acne and other problems, and this can also be unhealthy. So, which should you choose? Well, if you're someone who's very skinny and you're just starting out, you can go for a pretty dirty bulk with a surplus of three to 400 calories. Because right now, you're probably in a position where you want to be a lot stronger. You may have tried to bulk in the past and been disappointed. But at the same time, you're a noob, which means you have the potential for noob gains. In other words, you had the potential to bulk up and fast if that's what you want to do. And, in your current situation, it probably is what you want to do as well. Later on, you can do a short cutting cycle in order to bring your body fat back down and reveal the definition and striations. Conversely, if you're someone who's an average size right now, perhaps a mesomorph, then you may well be a little stocky, but also carrying around a bit more fat than you want. If you're already at around 12 to 15% body fat, then you'll probably want to avoid adding too much extra, and so in that case, you'll do better to bulk a little slower without so much excess. And finally, if you're someone who is at or around their genetic potential, or you're someone who is already in good shape, then a clean bulk is the safest way to go. 
For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.